Secrets in Artist Studio, Secrets in Artist Studio. I'm going to show you a few tricks I've developed over the years. So I'm looking at this composition that's supposed to be this epic invasion of pre-Indo-Europeans 1500 BCE from the steppes of Russia with their languages with axes made out of bronze and horses. They invaded and they exterminated original agriculturalists who came literally by walking from Turkey 5,000 years earlier. So those invaders, they were steppe people. This is where I come from. So it's going to be like this symbol. And above here, I want to have something like a shaman figure, something like a spiritual leader of the community, shaman, healer. And here I was thinking about some echoes. This drawing is one month old, so I would like to continue and develop it. Yesterday, last night, I made some changes to the wheels. But I'm thinking that under the paper, I can put some texture. In the past, I was using black seeds. This is black seeds, uh, some kind of Egyptian spice. But I bought it for, for only this purpose, to put it down here under the paper and rub my dirty hands on it and it should come out interestingly but in the past the seeds were they were poking the paper through and i didn't like it so i'm gonna tr put this thing it's green tea okay it's softer i don't want to waste too much green tea so we're gonna just spread it where the horse's feet are like below the horse's feet where the uh, t tires of the of the yes underneath there are other drawings so these other drawings will be influenced by today's actions so the future depends on your today's activity so let's spread this tea all over like in the bottom here so we're gonna have these black spots very spontaneously so we need to tie it up right tie it up tie it up many times because we're going to be smooshing fairly fairly hard uh, onto this area and we will do it in a specific way so for instance the motion of this wagon wagon it's fucking called wagon is that way right so it's going to the left <laughs> so if i want to create it going real fast i need to Fuck off. I need to create opposite direction lines or some kind of rhythm or some kind of elements that are opposite this line. Do you understand? So, so they, these horses, there are three horses, right? And this is the wagon. And I'm not good at drawing wagons. I'm not. I didn't watch many westerns. We didn't have comic books in Russia. I grew up outside with a fucking knife. So this is a wagon, more or less, okay? And yeah, they had wheels, yeah, yeah spokes, I mean. And uh, so I need to create something opposite those lines, you understand? And some way, some something. It's got to be something. I don't want to do it the usual way. If I put under the paper, sandpaper, under here it's gonna come out differently if i'm gonna put a circle that is shiny like smooth you understand so i can have sun over here and moon over here if i want to circular elements are the most strongest compositional elements within visual arts <laughs> when you have a circle on the side you need really strong figures in this particular case, it's very organic, it's mobile, <coughs> it's moving very fast, so it competes well with a circle. But I'm not sure I need circles in this composition because the main uh, object already is moving in this empty space. Now, where is the horizon line? I like to make horizon line at 12 inches, which is exactly half of the page, but it doesn't have to be so, you understand? Then I have a mark out here, uh, and here, so I can manipulate the distance behind. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted this guy to be like a ghost. And I started playing with wax. First, I would do something crazy with wax. And not really, you see, I'm not really 
creating any shapes because I can't even see this wax. It's transparent, right? And then I will take soft charcoal, pressed charcoal B6, not B2. B2 is very good for little light, light lines, you know? It's, it can go very fine and very black and very... You understand? No, this is soft. I accidentally ended up with the heart. So, we got this shaman, and the wind is blowing his hair, and he has a walking stick, right? Every shaman needs a walking stick. And here's his knee, and here's his other leg behind, and here's his stepping or something. So it's a ghost, okay? And he has a backpack and a stick, and there's a bird sitting on a stick. <laughs> His private crawl, for instance. <laughs> and like this ancient Chinese wise man. And the wind is of destiny are blowing. It's a spirit. It's a cloud. It's not really a human being. You understand? So it's fuck knows what. So it's just a bundle of energy reminding the figure more like an event. Like undeciphered event at this time i don't know what's gonna happen next because i didn't use wax that much i just discovered it a few weeks ago <laughs> now in pre-existing conditions i was trying to wipe it off just a few hours ago to remove what i but i was not able to remove anymore oh, we have those seeds oh we have green tea here okay so we need dirty hands we need dirty dirty we need dirt basically Anyone has dirt in this house? Fuck! Uh, just open vacuum cleaner and just get some dirt. So, <clears throat> oh, we got some color on the floor. That's interesting. Do I see red? Mm, magnesia? So, okay, so we created those spontaneous dots and perhaps we can put some more of them. I would like them to be stronger, so I'll take this gray charcoal and see how that's going to work. Again, the opposite lines. No, it's just polishing the paper. So I need... Uh, now, let's take hard charcoal so it's not going to crush immediately as fast as... Um, so we need something opposite of the direction of the horses. So that's what I'm doing, like, I don't know, like grass or something. You understand? So the horses are not, are not even horses, okay? They're also bundles of muscle, like, like the organic force of the horse, you understand? Like the spirit of the horse and their nostrils and their eyeballs and hair and a tail. So they're just a bundle of energy. And now let's get into detail to this uh, wagon. So let's say there is a figure sitting on this wagon and he has one hand up and I don't know, there's some kind of lines here, something like this. And then behind the wagon, there's like a stick and there's like a bucket hanging off the wagon, right? So there's like a bucket and the winds of destiny are blowing the water out of this bucket. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> well, it's an adventure, you know. Drawing, painting is an adventure. So, um, have a good time, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm having a fucking good time my whole life. Uh, starting in high school, when I stubbornly set my mind, I'm going to be an artist. And this is... I'm not going to make those spokes as they look in a photograph because this is not a photograph you understand this is supposed to be smooshed and crazy and vibrating and spinning spinning essentially right so how do i show spinning but this is more than just spinning this this whole wagon event is sort of ghost event that appears out of your consciousness out of your dna so this is who you are. This is who I am, Andrei Bogoslavsky, genetically, okay? This is who invaded Europe. This is who my ancestors were, literally. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm trying to pull out more white here. It just got too dirty. The shaman, of course, doesn't make any sense. It's not a shaman anymore. Well, I tried. I tried, okay? 
Uh, maybe we should restructure the whole philosophy of shamanism. Animism, you know, it's Japanese animism. It's the same as shamanism. So they practice it successfully for thousands of years, you know, believing that the spirits are within the trees. You know, I spent some time in Japan with my kids and we went to these amazing temples and we attended many ceremonies, but I myself, you know, I'm a great student of religions and history and anthropology, and of course I'm familiar with all the rituals in Japanese Shinto and in Hinduism and in Buddhism. Because I love it. Hey, it came out real nice. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. This is real nice. I like it. I like it. Where's the... Some fucking duty on the worst. Always comes handy. Okay, so we'll continue this more. But I'm trying to explain to you that... No, actually, maybe we should remove Horizon and see what happens. So the guy sort of is walking upon this wagon. Okay, to make the wagon really go fast, we need to put something behind. I don't know, maybe some kind of structure in Poland, in Germany, okay? So this is Germany, 5,000 years, no, 3,000 years ago. So this is the fucking structure where they found this disc. Remember this star disc? There was like a half moon made out of gold. It was bronze. And then the sun and other planets. So it was like a like a calendar. And they, they were agriculturally, so they needed to know when to plant. So they had these meetings in April, and the shamans told them, you know, next week we're starting to, to plant, uh, you know, the, the grains. So the harvest is, I don't know, in August or in July, right? <coughs> so this is the, the, the ritualistic place. I just drew it because they restored it in Germany 20 years ago, so I know how it looks like. And far, further away, the great steppes of Russia, where I come from. But it's not so detailed because it's very flat and it's really a dream. A dream. Because these are hundred generations later after they left. Let me try this. Never tried it before. Sandpaper is really supposed to destroy paper, theoretically, right? It's supposed to, like, totally rip the surface, theoretically, right? Well, I, I want to see. I never tried it before. So you're witnessing Andrei Boislavsky trying new technologies, and this is what I'm teaching you. You just grab something and see what comes out. If you like the effect of this particular area, this foggy whatever came out. <laughs> it came out pretty funny, actually. If I start moving in different directions, it actually creates those bizarre combinations. Huh, interesting. This, this mo mo molecule, mo muscular, these little tiny scrapes. Very interesting. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Okay, we'll think about it. We'll work it. Now I need something here. Since we got so much going on there, we need something here. I don't know what. So let's say it's going to be their future. Where are they going? All the way to Portugal, to Spain. They're going to kill all the men and they're going to fuck all the women. That's why all Europeans are genetically related to step people where I come from. So what is Portugal? Well, Portugal is like the last, last, how do you call it? Cliff. I was there. There's like a cliff. And then you have United States of America. Really far away on the horizon. Statue of Liberty with a big dick. And New York City. Ta -ta. But this is future. This is 3,000 years in the future. Today, there is a Portuguese chick waiting for the arrival on the shore of Atlantic. Arrival of those motherfuckers. We're gonna fuck her real hard. And she's gonna love it. <laughs>